What's up, you guys? I'm gonna call my last week! Tweet, tweet. Wee! Okay, here we go. Anyway, I'm Max. I am Rhino. Alright, so you basically point where you want to go. You can look down if you choose. It's ba Actually, no, it's basically turn the Wii remote, actually. Let's run your beard through the basics, just to make sure he's not hurt. How are you yelling at me from so far away? You can change the direction of your bird by tilting the Wii remote to the left and right. When you want to speed up, swing the Wii remote up to gain some altitude, then point the Wii remote down to drop it to a fast dive. Huh? Yep. Yep. <sighs> That's the basics of getting your bird up to top speed. So how's he handling? Do you think he's flying alright? I don't know. While riding your loft wing, you can press 2 at any time to go over the basic controls again. You can also press A to charge, which is an attack that gives you a burst of speed. Press B to slow down. Try all these moves and see how they feel. That bird looks like it has a freaking fox tail. See what I mean? Kinda, yeah. Oh. Well, that's a huge relief. I don't know about you, Aoyoshi, but your loft wing looks like he's flying great. My father and the others are probably worried about your birds, so let's go give them the good news. Can we stab Groose while we're at it? Yes. Only in the leg. Oh. Find both legs. Yay! <laughs> Do you want to save your progress? Yes! I have an idea for your bird name. Oh. Fly no. Uh. <laughs> Your loft wing is really amazing, especially considering everything the poor guy's been through this morning. I'm gonna fly back and tell father what happened. Then why did you land? Oh, hey! Well, well, if it isn't our Alyoshi. Word around the plaza is you found that dumb bird of yours. Well, that's just great, because you and your dumb bird can't tell time. All the pre-race warm-ups for me and the guys did were for nothing. Now I'm all stiff. We've been waiting forever for the race to start, and they delay it for you. I don't get it. The big flag gets special treatment. Perfect. You're almost a man, and yet you still can't seem to go anywhere without Zelda. But you can't even decide what to have for lunch on your own, huh? I don't even think we haven't noticed with those smug looks. Ooh, Zelda and I are best friends. We go everywhere together. <laughs> You think you're pretty suave, don't you? Well, don't you? I'm more suave than you, penis hair. I really want the camera to just kind of turn slightly and then just see the crimson uh, law twain just standing behind Groose. <laughs> okay, do you want to voice the short one of these two? Are they male? Yes. I mean, I guess. You voice the short one and I'll voice the skinny one. I believe the short one is Colin and the bit larger one is Stitch or something. Uh, so you voice Colin. Okay. Colin, rather. Yes, Colin. What to do, what to do. <laughs> Remember, he's a bully's sidekick, basically. Grease has been going on forever about how he's going to be the one to be with Zelda. He's really got his pompadour in a ruffle about her. I love that word. Yeah. <laughs> that's, his, that's his laugh! Yeah. <laughs> I hate to break it to you, but today's the day I bust up this adorable little fantasy land you're living in. Zelda's playing the role of the goddess at today's ceremony, and I'm gonna be the one to claim that sailcloth. Is that another word for panties, or...? Yes. When I heard she made it herself, man, no way was I gonna let some scrawny clown snatch that prize from me. Stitch in the back goes, HEY! <laughs> oh yes, that sailcloth. Zelda's sailcloth. Will be mine. <laughs> Huh. Oh man, I bet she was thinking about me when she was stitching it. Yep, I can see it now. First, I win the big race, and then Zelda and I finish the ceremony together on the statue. Just the two of us. It'll be our special moment alone. Nobody Just is stopping the two me of us. I'm just having your moment. Oh, it's so real, I can, I can see it. This is the point where I stab him in the back. Duh, duh, oh yeah, I got a big boner. <laughs> <laughs> this is you. Gross! Psst! Gross! Behind you! Right behind you! What? Can't you just see I'm in the middle of... 
my massive boner. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> my boner is this big! <laughs> my boner is this big! <laughs> That's a lie! Care to explain just what you meant what you meant by our special moment alone? And boner? I, uh, nothing big really. <laughs> I knew it! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you should. Yeah, I was just telling my buddy here how glad I was he found the red bird of hers. Boy, am I looking forward to a fair race. Yeah. Anyhow, later, Zelda. Look for me during the race. I'll be the one pulling off all the dangerous moves. <laughs> strut, strut. I shit my pants. I hope nobody notices. <laughs> strut, strut. Boulder walk. <laughs> hey, girls, wait up. Did you hear that guy? A fair race? Yeah, the chances of that happening are just about less than zero. Yep, Either I plan on using this sword. Either way, don't let those fools get you down, Arl Yoshi. Just get out there and fly the best you can. You I know, know you've got these guys beat, and deep down I think you do too. And if a sword just happens to end up in Grizz's back, oh well, those freak storms, huh? Alright, here are my reactions. Yeah! I didn't know, or us? Alone? I am really tempted by the us alone one, but I think yeah is probably appropriate. Randomly shooting! How is that random? It's just gonna end up in whatever direction you're pointing in when you stop. No, I'm not. I'm, I, we were all pointed away, and I can do the control stick. Oh, okay. It was that yeah for a moment, but that was because my finger, my thumb slipped off. Us alone. Alrighty. Us alone. Come on, Arayoshi, try to focus for once. I thought it was holding NBCs at HD. The wing ceremony will now begin. Participating students, please assemble. Looks like it's race time. Good luck, Arl Yoshi. I'm gonna go get into my slutty outfit. Our love wings are farting! <laughs> do, 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 burritos! <laughs> we're gonna crash! Oh no, we're good. <laughs> Our love wings, wings are connecting with each other! This is probably not supposed to happen. Physics can suck my balls. Yeah. Wait, what the? <laughs> the headmaster! There's, then there's another guy, and then a bird! <laughs> Your attention, please. At last, we are ready to begin the wing ceremony. I was beginning to worry that we'd have to proceed without our Yoshi, but luckily that is no longer a concern. I'm glad you could all make it. Before we start, I'll explain the rules for today's competition. No stabbing. Damn it. I've attached a small statuette to this bird, who I will, who I will then release to the skies. You have to shoot it down. Press A to dash and dive off the ledge. Once you are in the air, mount your loft wing. Wake up, Aryoshi. Well, what? <laughs> Remember to call your bird promptly with down once you dive off the edge. Or you whoever, will die. Whoever catches the bird and claims a statuette with A will be this year's champion. Yay. Those are the rules. Simple enough, I should think. But do you need to hear them again? No. Nope. Aryoshi, why do you have this sword? I don't. <laughs> Excellent. As you well know, today's champion will graduate to the next class, bringing him one step closer to knighthood. He will also receive a gift from the young woman chosen to play the role of the goddess in this year's ritual. Who will, also be, who will also be receiving your knighthood in a different way. <laughs> Today is a special day for many reasons, but it is also the 25th anniversary of our fine game series, I mean institution. <laughs> to celebrate the occasion, today's champion shall also receive his gift high atop the statue of the goddess. I hear the young woman performing the role of the goddess this year has crafted the gift herself. And as you all well know, the role of the goddess this year will be performed by... The cafeteria me! lady! <laughs> what? The cafeteria lady. <laughs> the lovely Zelda! <laughs> Let's see your finest flying up there. Show me just how hard you've been practicing. Also, I want to see good, clean flying. Anyone caught interfering with other riders will answer to me. I don't believe you. Oh, this is you! <laughs> uh, that, mm, that goes double for you, Groose. I Hide your barely remember what his, what his voice is. He, he just kind of had an old man voice, but he's supposed to be angry. Like, the sound effect when he spoke was, Cha! <laughs> that goes double for you, Groose. Hey. I have a Warhammer with your name on it. 40,000 of them! Yes. All right, gentlemen, line up. To my command, the competition will begin. Oh, Yoshi. Go. Fuck him up. Hiya! 
It begins! Do it, do it. Is it actually possible to lose this? I don't think anyone else ever actually catches the bird. Uh, I'm gonna be honest here, I have no clue. I think they have some sort of wave. I think they cheat, though. I think they do something. Rubber I banding? I No, not like that. Like, this isn't a race, necessarily. Well, it is a race to do something, but it's not like, you know... It's not It's not like a Mario Kart race. Is he going to pelt you with day-old soup? I think they hit you with st something, I think. I seem to recall that. But... Oh, just... Uh, no! Yo, got it! Damn. Oh, this is where it happens. Hey, don't you know this is my day to get all the glory? The water Comes in moving. and knocks you out of the way. Yeah, you heard him. Let's see how you fly with egg on your face. They start throwing eggs at me now. Those bastards. I'm so flying. You already know I'm in the sky. Yep. The speed up thing with the fast dive is a little difficult. Come on. No, I, 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 I keep boosting. I don't want to boost. Come on. Oh, no, I turned you too far. Oh, shit. Well, it got away. I time to, time, time to catch up to it again. Once I figure out where the hell it is. There it is. It pulled a Yui. A Yui? A U-turn. Also, I just got hit with an egg. Yes, yes, you did. Breakfast. Thanks, guys. I didn't eat this morning. I was too busy getting barrels for the cafeteria lady. Yeah. And it made a turn. Come on, why are my hands sweaty? Come what on. am I flying for? What am I flying for? The statuette, which I am almost getting, come on. It's like freaking flying after the golden snitch. Got it, I think. Yeah, you got the bird statuette. It proves your victory today. Wait till Zelda sees this. It'll knock her pants off. She's wearing a dress. It'll knock her pants off. <laughs> RL Yoshi! Do you have it? I really can't tell. It's kind of far away. Ah! <laughs> that Girl, was stupid! You, you got some timing. Don't worry, I'm fine. I just landed face first on your bird. I don't know if the bird's fine, though. <clears throat> Great flying, Aria Yoshi. Congratulations. We should name our bird. I am not a copulation platform. Yeah, we better get on with the ceremony. So, we, what should we name our bird? Because we don't have a name option, but just for the fun. <laughs> Rhino! <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um... Aria Yoshi, hand me that bird statuette you grabbed in the race. I must offer it to the goddess. I'm going to call the bird Flash. <laughs> okay. Why did you expect a bird pun? I was hoping. <laughs> it's a bird. I don't think it needs a bird pun name. <laughs> it needs a human pun name. Winkly. <laughs> the bird is Winkly reincarnated. I'm so rich I can fly. <laughs> Dollar signs give me wings. Let's call it Red Bull. It's red and it has wings. Okay. Done. <laughs> the loft wing suddenly wants to kill us. And then she played a small song. Take off your clothes. Great goddess, guiding light and protector of guiding light and protector of our people. I'm gonna start over. Great goddess, guiding light and protector of our people. Grant us your blessing and mercy as I act in your stead during this ceremony. Link, do you take me, Zelda, to be your lawfully wedded wife? Wait, Valiant what? Rod ceremony. <laughs> grasps victory at the celebration of the bird folk in accordance with the old ways. I now bestow the blessings of the goddess upon you. If this is how a graduation ceremony goes, then... You've gained two inches. The blessings of the goddess drift down from the heavens aloft a sail, which I now pass on to you. And da 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 da! You got the sailcloth. Now you can jump from any height without fear of a painful landing. Yay! It smells nice too. 
<laughs> All right, Yoshi, quit goofing. This is supposed to be a sacred ritual, remember? All right, to the sex. <laughs> you know, they say that the goddess gave a sailcloth to her chosen hero long ago. That's nice. Sex now. <laughs> of course, the one you're holding isn't the same one. I've been working hard to finish making this sailcloth in time to give it to today's champion. Oh god, you're going to go on for a while, aren't you? I'm really glad I got to give it to you, Arl Yoshi. Make sure you take good care of it, okay? Yep, this is a speech. Hang on, just shut up, man. <laughs> Thanks for making it up here to do this with me today like you promised, Arl Yoshi. <laughs> yeah! Now we really should finish up this ritual. You... Do know what happens at the end, right? Sex. N nope. Sort of. Or uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> and just what are you thinking? Don't be silly. This is your big moment, Aro Yoshi. <laughs> and at the end of the ceremony, <laughs> I do anal on you. <laughs> you have to jump off the statue. <laughs> Look down. See that big round design on the courtyard below? To finish the ceremony, you need to d drop down right into the center of it and go splat! What if I miss? Then you fail. Peep off the edge here. Right before you hit the ground, press B to open up your sailcloth. Just how brave are you? If you were really fearless, you'd wait until the last second to use your sailcloth. So, ready to jump? How many people have just Push. planted on this point? Uh, she just really likes pushing you off things. Yeah, she does. And yeah, first try. I did not get it first try in my original Let's Play. I'll say that much. Did you face plant <laughs> many times? <laughs> oh dear. Was it hilarious? It was. That was awesome. perfect. You're amazing, Aro Yoshi. Yay! 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 Emotions. Sunlight. Birds! And now we're married. You know, I knew Arlo it. Yoshi. I knew this was a trap. <laughs> Seeing as how you won today, and with the weather being so nice, let's go inside. <laughs> you think maybe you'd like to, you know, go fly around the clouds together? Is this like a date? No. That's pretty much how my first date went, so... <laughs> Is this like a date? No. No, well, it was sort of a... Hides, I think. It was like, was that a date? It was. <laughs> hey, Arl Yoshi. Today was amazing. Watching you win the race of performing the ritual together, we'll always remember this. Why are you yelling now? It really was wonderful. Butt shot. <laughs> Dead up skirt. <laughs> it's up shirt. Uh, he does have that one piece of cloth that starts at his waist. You know, Arl Yoshi, when I get a better look at his outfit, I'll just tell you what that actually is. It's there's like something, a sash or something, there's I something guess. something I've been meaning to talk to you about. I'm pregnant. Oh, God! What Probably. is that? It's a tornado! Genius! Why does that tornado have dirt in it? What's going on? Well, it's a tornado. Ah! Arayoshi! Someone was not strapped in. And she's dead. Well, shit. Uh, I'm go falling start. forever! R.L. Yoshi? Yeah, this time around, you, I'm voicing the, uh... Never mind. Are you? I'll, I'll, say, I'll say something later. I am waiting for you. The time has come for you to awaken. Wait, so you are vital to a mission of great importance. Who do I get to voice, then? R.L. Yoshi. No, you don't get a voice out of the ocean. Just... <laughs> and now we're falling. What the hell? Take my hand! 
No, it's the Vore Dream! No. My eyeliner. Ah, this is you. Ah, headmaster. you're awake. Yeah. You, you voice fuck. the headmaster. You know what? You know what? Fine. You can voice Blue Girl. We're not. I, spoiling just, I was just name. curious, like who else talks consistently in this game? We're not going to spoil anything else. When your loft wing carried you back, you were limp and unconscious. I feared the worst, and I was right. My daughter is dead. You are still limp. Fortunately, <laughs> you don't appear to have any serious injuries. For that much, we can be grateful. But my daughter's dead, so fuck you. I guess we'll start after trading that other bitch we have, who's the only girl in school. <laughs> but, Haro Yoshi, where is Zelda? She was with you, was she not? I mean, I found her sailcloth just draped over something. What's happened to my daughter? She got pregnant. I had to throw her off the loft wing. Dude, Easy abortion, you know. Not cool. <laughs> I explained by going, whoop, 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 circle, circle, need the breasts. Wait, no, I should have told you that part of the story. <laughs> no, no, go on. <laughs> A black tornado. You it had. was brown! Hmm, that was no ordinary storm. <laughs> hoot, hoot. I'm afraid I must evolve into knockdown now. <laughs> you must not push yourself. You're still recovering. He's already a knockdown. He has the he has the unibrow. Holy shit! You're right. <laughs> Tell me, when you saw Zelda today, did anything about her seem off? Yeah, the clothes when I took her back to the bedroom. Hi, oh, right, you're her father. High five. <laughs> oh, shit, cool. <laughs> <laughs> totally ruining this scene. <laughs> I see. She was talking about the surface then. Blasphemy. <laughs> and you've been having dreams about a great mission. And for... <laughs> TMI, dude. We are never going to have this scene be serious. Never. How interesting. Vor. <laughs> <laughs> the, just, just, just the way his head turned and he looked at it. I'm sorry, I was lost in thought there for a moment. About the Vor. It's all very strange, but I doubt there's much of a connection between these things. You need an intervention, though. <laughs> I'm concerned with Zelda. But so long as she's with her loft wing, I'm sure she'll be fine. Wait, what do you mean she got torn off that thing and then sucked down to the tornado? Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, Daybreak has yet to arrive. It would be very difficult to spot one girl and her bird in the dark of night. It would also be very dangerous. It would be like an adventure. Wink, wink. The, adventure, bye. the adventure of <laughs> Wink. Rest now, Aro Yoshi. Zelda's going to be fine. She's out there alive. I know it. Goes outside. Prepare the funeral! <laughs> but sir... Look, there's an orgy at the end of this shit and I need to cheer up. <laughs> there's singing coming from outside the door. I was not far off. <laughs> okay, I think I know what I want my name to be. Okay. You know how my name is, uh, the name is R.L. Yoshi? Mm hmm. R.L. Yosegal. <laughs> eh. Shut up. Hey, more money! Yay! I'm not actually going with that. I was just being stupid. Yeah. I mean, you can voice Blue Girl if you want. I'm just not sure what other characters show up consistently in this story and talk. And this part creeps me out also. For some reason, whenever you have to follow a ghostly looking character in a game, that just is really creepy to me, no matter what I... Like, I already know Fee is, you know, Wee. a good character and everything, but it's just creepy. Wee. 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 Do the door. Tell you what, uh, you, you could voice her, but yeah, you can voice her. Okay. 
Because I guess the best the best thing to do is like uh, since I'm playing, you get to voice the character who speaks the most. To make it yeah. Even. The I only problem with that is gonna be the Elgato delay, but yeah, I just end up as the female side character, don't I? Just wait until Majora's Mask. You're gonna be Tattle. Uh, she does not. Oh, talk it's that a kitty. Much. Kitty. Hey there, little kitty. How are you doing tonight? You're so adorable. I'm gonna bite your face. Ah! Rock, walk around. Oh, you? I was, I was not far off. Remlets turn evil at night. Why? I don't know. Also, there's enemies at night. Also, there's a chest down here. Let me grab that. Uh, Does that slime have a mouth? Yeah. Oh. More money. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna press one. Yep, yeah, no, no jump attack as far as I know. Maybe, yeah, I, just don't maybe I just don't remember it. Poke, poke. Got a jelly blob. <laughs> oh yeah, that collectopedia <laughs> thing. Oh uh, yeah. Hey look, bugs. Yeah, you have to click bugs too. Ow! What'd you no. do? Here's the thing I want. Now I'm gonna carry you, okay? Are you killing the mayor's cat? Don't worry, it doesn't actually die. Now here's the thing I want to show, okay? You're gonna throw it off the edge, aren't you? Check it out! It's back! <laughs> That's what I call an ear uh, wing! Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> but yeah, those are remlets. Huh. They're evil, but unkillable at night, though if you hit them enough, they will walk away and they'll huddle up and cry. You're a monster. Yeah, that's why I was just doing that to show off. I'm never doing it again. I will cuddle all the remlets when it's daytime. Yeah. Also, I need to wait for my stamina to come back. You gotta apparently swing at my sword doesn't use stamina. Yeah, that's easy. Oh yeah, thrusts don't do anything to these things. Thrust, thrust, thrust. That's why it just looks like I'm going poke, poke, poke. You. Okay, I need to show this, actually. What? The night, the guard at nighttime. It's just the same guard, but with a helmet and a light. Oh, no. This one's wearing green. Watch your footing out there. In the dark, you never know. Blah, blah, blah. That's not who I was trying to show off. Ah, well. We'll see them another time. Alright. Now let's climb up these vines. Leap, leap, leap. I shall follow you. Wee. Wee. We Can you tell where I'm leading you? <clears throat> Lightsaber noises? Vzoom, vzoom. Link, that's just a regular sword. Vzoom, vzoom. <laughs> now you we go into the giant statue door. lady's ass. Upskirt. It's inside the statue of the goddess. Let's As find always. out. <gasps> it's another sword. We this got a, one we, looks even shinier. We got a new sword pretty quickly. Ye and now you speak. The one chosen by my creator. I have been waiting for you. You will play a role in a great destiny. I've never played Destiny, though. It sucks. <laughs> According to your social customs, I should provide you with my personal designation. Fee is the name I was given. Yeah, I'm glad you go with Fee and not Fi. <laughs> it's I like don't Fiona, but without the last half of the word. Oh, hey. Cool. Yeah. I was created for a single purpose, long before the recorded memory of your people. 
I am the ultimate blowjob machine. <laughs> nah. I must aid you in fulfilling the great destiny that is your burden to carry. You are to kill Groose. Come, Aro Yoshi. Okay. You must take it. <laughs> <laughs> After looking at you, done. <laughs> you must take up this sword. Done. <laughs> As the one chosen by my creator, it is your destiny. Notice also she kind of looks like a sword. Does she? Her head is the pommel. Her things, <sighs> her arms slash wings slash flaps or whatever are like the, the handle. And then her legs make the blade. She's like a, she's like a knife, sort of. Hmm. The strange dreams troubling your sleep. My sudden appearance. Uncertainty surrounding the fate of the one you hold dear. It is all because of your vor fetish. <laughs> oh god. Under the circumstances, it is only logical that you would exhibit some apprehension. Let's also not make any more vor jokes, by the way. Okay. I do not like vor. Neither do I. Look at my leggings. <laughs> Fishnet stockings. To minimize your uncertainty, allow me to share some information. Yeah, I please do. That, that would help. My projections indicate that this information has a high probability of altering your current emotional state. Sorry, Zelda is dead. On that one. Zelda is dead. Well, yeah, that altered my emotional state, all right. Oh, the opposite. The one you seek, Honorable Zelda, is still alive. And now she isn't. <laughs> yeah, she just now hit the ground. Dropped the ball on that one, didn't you, coma boy? And this spirit maiden, the one you call Zelda, is another chosen one fated to be part of the same great mission. Her role is to be kidnapped. She's done her job. Yes. Therefore, should you wish to meet with your friend, I highly recommend you take up this sword before you set out to search for her. I'm trying to crack my neck! I can't. Do you think I need to change anything about her voice? Nah, it works. Okay. Does that information invigorate you? I, I, I feel like that word wasn't exactly appropriate, but okay. Are you ready to accept this sword into your body? Well, shit, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, really? It seems that further persuasive measures will not be required. So I will retract my offer about the blowjobs and the kinky sex. Yes. Oh. <laughs> In the name of my creator, draw the sword and raise it skyward. More like raise it ceiling word because we're inside. Title drop. Alright. Let's do this. We'll, we'll grab this sword and pull it out next episode. So. As we are being told to ready our stance and grip our sword tightly, I've been Max. And I've been Rhino. And we'll see you next time.